everyone architect Michael Huber and it is the end of April and I'm still wearing my winter jacket it was in the upper 80s all last week and this week it is in the low 40s it's crazy anyway today uh, running out to that uh, modern house remodel meeting uh, the owner the general contractor I think Matt from my office will be out there as well as the mechanical subcontractor because we um, need to kind of figure out duct line and, and how we're going to really sort the mechanical systems out because the ceilings are really low, the walls are concrete block, and uh, we don't want to fur out or drop down soffits um, or keep that to a minimum. So anyway, uh, heading out there now. Just a quick detour down to the St. Croix River where the floods are, are here. It's actually gonna peak tomorrow, but this is all park and there's big steps going down to the water. That little bridge right there, if you can see that, you, can, you normally can uh, ride boats under that bridge. So the roads are actually closed. A um, little bit of sandbagging here and there, but yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's gotta be up, I don't know, seven, eight feet. So anyway, quick little detour. All right, here we are. I've got some drawings and some plans to sketch over. And we got Tom, the owner. Well, it looks like you got the, uh, is the roof all on? It's dried in. Nice. So we put new insulation, membrane, and coping. And the coping used to be silver, but you'll find out soon why we changed that to bronze. But uh, all right, I better uh, get in there and Get the meeting started. Okay, made it back from the site visit and meeting. Um, again, met the general contractor as well as a uh, mechanical contractor who we've worked with many times in the past just to kind of sort out some duct lines and things like that. So I think we, we are, are all on the same page, but you are not. So I thought I should probably give you a little update of where we're at on that. So if we take a look at here, this is the, the site plan. Um, so you can see it's on a corner lot. Here's the, the road that we park on and then the entry up to the house. Here's that concrete patio um the kitchen area living space and then the stacked uh, double bedroom above the garage so when meeting with the city um, this is a non-conforming lot it doesn't meet any of the setbacks etc but you can see we've got a lot of property going up to the corner and so what we are able to do is as long as we don't put an addition past uh, the the front facade or the rear facade and we're 35 feet back from the corner, which there's plenty of space there, uh, we can put an addition on. Now, we don't want the addition, obviously, to overpower the uh, existing home either, and we're not investing a ton of money into uh, this new addition anyway. And so we looked at having uh, this link piece uh, and then maybe a 22 foot square um, addition uh, that'll show you in a second on what that houses. So if we look at um, the existing plan, so this is the existing main level plan. Here was the front door, um, the living room with the fireplace. Uh, this was the kitchen, believe it or not, and then back door and then stairs going down. And then stairs going up half a level to two bedrooms with a bathroom in between. And on the lower level, you come down the stairs, which do not meet code. 
um, to actually a pretty good size lower level. Um, and then you have to step up. This is a little clunky step up to a single car garage, but it's, it's a very deep uh, car garage. So what we started um, thinking about, uh, you know, with obviously the client, they, they wanted to have a, a bedroom main suite addition and a guest bath. And then this link piece could be sort of the new entry. And as we looked at the stairwell, um, you know, that did not meet code. So we thought, let's just pull the stair out and put it within the link piece. So this is kind of the general direction uh, that we're going and, and kind of started at. So here's the original building. Then here is this link piece where we now have a new entry uh, and new stairwell going down. Then we've got the 22 by 22 foot addition here with a guest bath, um, little closet, entry closet, you know, pretty good size, main bedroom, nice large uh, main bathroom with a large walk-in closet behind. And then in the main space, we looked at taking out that wall um, between the original entry and the kitchen and turning that all into the dining and then moving the kitchen here so we could get a large kitchen. Okay, had to, had to uh, turn off the speakers because they were buzzing. Um, anyway, um, nice large kitchen. The living room stays here. Uh, we've got the two bedrooms above remain the same. I mean, everything cleaned up. If you remember on the interior, um, we've got a lot of uh, exposed concrete block everywhere. Uh, so we're going to fur and insulate because we're not sure actually, you know, there's probably some perlite in the cores of the concrete block and then just stuccoed over it. So um, anyway, we'll be updating uh, the, the thermal envelope, including windows as well. Um, so that that's basically uh, what we're thinking of doing. We, we looked at saying, well, what if we make this building a little larger, then we could get a larger mudroom um, storage space in the addition. Um, we looked at taking over the closet as part of this bedroom to enlarge this bath, which we liked. And then just having some built-ins uh, within the bedroom space, um, you know, desk or shelves or, or whatnot, because now we don't have really any closets within the space. Um, then I had, uh, always talked about having, you know, the single car garage always bugged me. So I thought, let me just try. So I looked at having the addition actually be the garage space, you know, cheap, cheaper to construct than a livable, habitable space. Um, I thought, ah, what if we move the kitchen into the living room and really made that a, a cook's key, a kitchen, a, a big feature tried putting the living room in this corner here, maybe a built-in banquette. And then I thought, you know, we still need that main suite. So what if we gutted that whole sort of double bedroom area, half level up, and made that the main suite of the space. But then we needed, obviously, uh, a kid's room. So just put those where the garage was, family room, added a bathroom, mechanical, etc. cetera. Um, so that... Um, uh, they didn't really like that idea of the garage. Didn't think the neighborhood supported or needed it, which I get. Um, but I thought it would be pretty nice, uh, pretty nice to have. So then we looked at you know exterior form, um, and here's where you know the the existing home has just these strong boxy shapes and and lines. And the addition, we wanted to, to follow that same uh, vocabulary, but also be somewhat different so that it, it differentiates itself from the more historical home. But you can see now we've got the entry here. Here would be that addition. Uh, if I show you the garage, which isn't going to happen, but you can see a little retaining wall sculpt this. It actually did work out pretty well with with the road and then 
main bedroom up here and we'd put the other bedrooms down below. All right, so I know I'm going by a little fast here, so apologize. Uh, but, so this is the plan where we are at now. So the, the main addition piece uh, stays like one of those original earlier concepts. We've got the entry, the stair going down. Everyone really felt the kitchen here made a lot of sense. Uh, the dining area closing off the existing front door, but now adding patio doors off the living room to have this nice little patio space, indoor-outdoor connection. There will be a patio out here and this living room needed more light. So uh, we added a, a patio door uh, to go out you know, to the grill or whatnot, but add more light into this space as well as a large window on this side of the fireplace, again, to get more light into it. The upper level, they like the idea of sealing the closets to get a larger bath and doing some built-ins. So when we look at, at that massing, here's where I had mentioned on the site about they had uh, repaired the roof and added insulation. And the original metal coping was a gray, as we talked about going with a, a dark bronze color. And so now we're, we're getting the windows, you can see in some of the other accents, into the dark bronze um, color line because now our addition will also be this vertical dark bronze metal. So you can see we still are harmonizing with uh, the original building, but we're, we're kind of differentiating the original from the new. Um, and I think it still looks, looks pretty good. We're looking at having a canopy piece over this uh, front door element. Um, the back side will probably be a patio area here. So anyway, that is where we are currently, currently at. And uh, um, we've done some interior work as well, which I'll show you next time. But we're really just starting to get everybody gathered to be on the same page so we can uh, look forward to getting into construction drawings in the next couple of weeks and hopefully a midsummer construction start, early summer. I guess we'll see how, how it goes. So, all right. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for following along and hope everyone is well and safe and we'll talk soon.